woman was friendly to me on the long train journey to Auschwitz. Oh yeah, they didn't just send Jews there. We stood outside the carriage. It was icy. Winter. She was wearing a fur coat. It was obviously wealthy, or had been once. She upset one of the Blokhova, and he told her that we were all going to die, so she could forget her airs and graces. She marched straight up to a German officer and asked if this was true. The officer was tall and handsome. He smiled at her and said, Madame, would we do something like that to you? The block of her was taken round the other side of the wagon and shot. That was the last question any of us asked. She thought she could barter her way out. That the German officers were refined men, capable of reason. Well, maybe that small incident ended the world she grew up in. Little things often do. The German officer read out some names. Mine was amongst them. My feet were iced to the ground. A friend stepped forward. She looked at the German with contempt. Such courage. By the time I realised what was happening, she was being marched away to Block 25. Later on, we found out nobody returned from there. I've been in camp since the war started. How have I survived? I'm useful. I speak three languages. I can be useful to you. I blame myself as much as the Germans. I, I had let her go. Why hadn't I called out? Days passed, I don't know how many. Physically, I deteriorated faster than the others. I could barely walk. What little food we were given, I vomited. Finally, I couldn't move. In another few weeks, this camp won't be safe any longer. The guards will desert. You might need someone like me. I had told the woman I was a Christian. She said, Christians are butchering each other. She chose to die. I wanted to live. That's why I didn't say anything. I could have stopped her. I didn't. Now I have her name. Her identity. The Russians are shooting the Germans. Sometimes they're hanging them. There's only one thing worse than being a German. And that's being a German woman. <laughs> I arrived in January 1942, a year before the others did. The cattle wagons were opened on that black plain. It had no name then. It was anywhere. The largest station in the world for arrivals and the smallest for departures. There was only one way to survive and that was to be of use to the Germans. Apart from being a Stubova, there was only one way a woman could be of use to a German man. In another lifetime, those Germans will be husbands and fathers. They'll grow vegetables, play with their children and worry about ulcers. There was a man who hated women. He broke them one by one. But not this woman. This man controlled the death lists. Many times he put her on them and took her off again. Each month she was kept alive, she was despised a little more by the other prisoners, even though she helped keep many of them alive. 
he made only one mistake. He was hated by his countrymen and he was sent to the Russian front. Before he left, he entered her on his last death list. He knew what was about to happen. Her file was closed. He also put her on another list with three other women. They were all transferred to this camp.